What is up, fam? Welcome back to Lace Lee Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio zodiac sign. We're gonna dive in and see what messages come out for you. Whatever comes out, comes out. I did some readings earlier today that I was supposed to upload, but my dad came by, so they will be up in the morning. I promise, okay? But let's dive in. See what messages come through. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me adjust my daughter. Hold on for a second. Sorry about that. If you're new to my channel, these are the late night reads. I may not talk as loud on these readings because my baby girl is asleep over in the bed. So I try not to be as loud or as turned up, you know. But that don't mean we're not going to get the juice. Okay, so let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? Next 48 hours. Let's do next 48 hours for my Scorpios. And happy freaking Tuesday, y'all. What's going on with Scorpio? Next 48 hours. Okay. Dang it, y'all. Yeah, we can't get away from this card for some reason. Storm warning. Mm -hmm. This does represent an ending. I see you walking away from something. Storm warnings are about endings. Could be a storm coming in, rain, you know, stuff like that. Or this could just be some sort of, you know, upheaval. It's, it's getting ready to be the close, though. This can also mean, you know, chaos coming to an end, that type of energy. And then you have, well, dang, huh? Oh. You got financial constraints, 13. You got 10, 13, financial constraints. Nine, broken heart. And 24, adjacent possibilities. Okay. So this looks like something or someone is left out in the cold. Something's feeling abandoned in the lack energy, heartbroken energy here, sadness, grieving, and then adjacent possibilities, new doors, okay? New options, new paths. So, what do I want to clarify this with? Soul's journey. All right, let's clarify this energy. Clarify the financial constraints for Scorpios. Clarify financial constraints for Scorpios. Is that financial constraints for Scorpios, please, Spirit? Financial constraints. Death. Okay, transformation. Is you. <laughs> I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So whatever's being left out or whoever's being left out, you're learning, okay, yes, an ending, but this is a new beginning. Okay, yeah, one door has closed, but that's okay. We're going to let that sucker close. Okay, we're going to let it go. Yeah, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So again, you're closing this with love, like unconditional love, love, you know, having love for the situation. It may not have been the, the, the most fun situation to go through, but you're saying, okay, you know, I release it with love. I don't have any resentment, anger, hatred, or anything like that. This is like um, one of those mature things, you know, where somebody feels like they need to leave out of your life. You're like, you know what? I wish you the best. I wish you peace and love. You know, whatever makes you happy. If me being out of your life makes you happy and at peace, then so be it. You know, that type of energy. You know, when you get to that point, you know, there is a not Y'all, I, I finally poured that hot boiling water down my drain. Because, baby, these gnats is on my last nerve. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I seen one comment one time. They said, they said you're not supposed to kill the gnats. <laughs> well, baby, here. <laughs> okay. They get, they get smushed, okay? I can't take it. Anyway, I poured the hot water down the drain. So hopefully, it'll get rid of. Um, but yeah, you're going through a transformation. Your finances are going through a transformation as well. So if you've been in lack energy, and you've been showing gratitude, you know, and thanks for the things that you have already, you know, not being in this poverty-stricken mindset, you know, just being like, okay, you know, yeah, I'm thankful for what I have. It is what it is. Let's find financial constraints with the death card. Communication, texting, phone calls, and online. Some of y'all could work online. Or y'all may receive, like, I just seen an email. Just saying, Yahoo, you've got mail. So some of y'all could be receiving some sort of confirmation or message or communication of some sort about some sort of finances. Or this could be a person. Bottom of the deck is travel. Could be somebody at a distance. Some of y'all could be on vacation. Or this could be, like, confirmation of a plane ticket. Make sure if you got a payment, something set up, make sure you check your charts. I mean, check your accounts, charts, what? So, you're about to get some sort of confirmation. Check your emails. 
Mm, stay it. I want to see what is that? What's the financial constraints? What's that? Something to do with a text or message. Financial constraints with the text card. Love triangle. Some of y'all is a third party situation. Third party, multiple lovers and choices. Drama start at the bottom of the deck. If there's been any type of like workplace issues or something that has to do with finances, there, there's something that's tied here in finances. Whatever this is, this communication, this drama, somebody that ruined their reputation with you when it comes to drama, somebody that wanted attention, they wanted a groupie energy, so they could have been neglectful to their kids with child services or something like that, dealing with an obsessive karmic or something, okay? That you're about to receive some sort of communication. Somebody, yeah, somebody could have forced something or was forcing something on you. And this could have been lack energy or like financial responsibilities. They could have been forcing this on you, you know, with the acting code. You could have cut this person off. So what's financial constraints? Can I have one more, please? I think I need to. Um, yeah, wasting time, stuck, no changes, limited, and child neglect, bad parenting, scared of, hates parents, etc. Some of y'all dealing with like a baby mama, baby father drama. This person hasn't been financially taking care of the kids. You know, they've been wasting time, putting off, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, that could be coming to an end. Ooh, bottom of the deck, fake flex. My goodness, what is this? Axe rich, flosses money, axe fancy, shows off, etc. For some of you, for some of you, somebody is doing like the fake it to the fake it till you make it type of energy. I don't know if they looking you up. I don't know why they looking you up for some reason. You're a fake. Cry hunt. Y'all got, there's somebody, I don't know who this is, but there's somebody that's like fake flexing, like doing stuff for attention for a third party. And they're realizing how much of a waste of time that was. It kept them stuck. They could be struggling financially. They could have like put you in competition or had you fight. Or competed with another person. Being like extra dramatic, you know, just saying and doing whatever they need to to get a reaction out of you. That's coming to an end, okay? Whatever that is, that's that's coming to an end. Okay, honey, too much. Too much. Okay. Okay, what's a broken heart? What's the broken heart energy for Scorpio? What's the broken heart energy for Scorpio? Broken heart energy for Scorpio? Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And this is why, because th they're broken heart because they see you changing, evolving. They see you moving. Yeah. Mm. This is that, that sacral chakra energy. Okay. This is the one that's, that has to do with emotion, sexuality, creativity, and desires. So it's like they, they desire you or they, you know, maybe they want to work with you in some sort of way. Love. Keep showing up, y'all, at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. It's like they're, maybe they're changing, trying to see, like, they see that you're good. Or they see that you're changing, that you have changed. What's the broken heart with the change card? Work. Some of y'all, they see a change in your work. Maybe you're focused on your work, your business. It has profession, college, and workplace. So some of y'all, or this could have been, you know, ooh. Ice cream, divorcee, mother, and discernment. Yeah, a lot of y'all focus on your business, your money, your success. Okay, so this could be breaking this person's heart because they see you focused on your money, business, work, progressing, growing, evolving, you know, financially. And they see you using more of discernment when it comes to uh, matters of the heart. So they, it's like now you're more business minded. Now you're more focused this way. And so they see that change in you. They realize you're not the same. That's broken heart. With this change card. Y'all got y'all got an obsessive lover. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, and karmic. Yeah, yeah, y'all got a karmic lover. This person's obsessed. What's broken heart with the change card? 
this person could be in their ego. This could be the reason why they're karmic because they're operating out of their ego. Or you hurt, you bruise their ego. What's broken heart for change? Broken heart for change for Scorpio. Yeah, they think about you too. Head in the clouds. I just heard, yeah, I'm thinking about you. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know how to sing it. I don't know how to sing that song. Oh, no, no, no. But, like, they're thinking about you. And, yeah, locked up, about to be, always in and out. For some of y'all, some of y'all dealing with somebody that's in jail or in prison. Others of you, you're dealing with somebody that's been in and out of your life. There could be legal issues involved. This person could have, you know, offered you a dirty offer, you know, or they're stuck in their head about this dirty offer that they tried to give you. If it was, like, a third-party situation, you know, now they're kind of looking at that, reviewing that. Give me... I want... Clarify this broken heart with this change energy. What's this work energy about? What's the broken heart with the change card with this work energy? Spiral, out of control, climbing the ladder, upward trend. Yeah, revisiting a job, promotion, and connections. So for some of y'all, this person, I don't know what you're doing as far as work, but it's like you're climbing the ladder. They see you progressing in life financially. They see you like, if you're like on social media, Sorry, I don't have no coffee tonight. I'm trying not to drink now because, honey, I stayed up to like one in the morning. <laughs> Somebody sees you on the upper upward rise when it comes to your career and your successes here. So this is breaking their heart because they see you advancing in life. They see you um, connecting with other people, making new connections. This could be in work and business and love, things like that. Um, these could be people from your past because it says revisiting a job. So this could be people that used to work with you in the past, you know, maybe that they um, they left you out in the cold or they, you know, they stopped messing with you, stopped hanging with you, that type of energy. Um, they, they see you doing your thing. That's what it is. And it's not like it's been easy with the spiral. You know, I think of like a spiral staircase. It takes time to get up that. So they've it's like they've watched your every step as you've progressed, as you've, as you've grown whatever it is yeah they yeah ignore my hair honey i gotta straighten it i'm in the middle of trying to ask i keep saying i'm a straighten and then i fall asleep we have award winning money pay off for effort recognition career advancement professional work and fame some of y'all in the public eye some of y'all have received awards some sort of recognition it's like whatever you've been putting out there, you know, uh, putting your work, energy, time, effort into, your love into, is paying off, okay? They see you winning when it comes to life, when it comes to money, when it comes to your work, when it comes to your career. Some of y'all are, like, literally are gaining fame. Like, maybe you're a YouTuber or TikToker or what's the other thing? Instagram or IG, you know? Okay. All right, school, some seeds. Oh, y'all fine. Y'all fine. fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to adjacent possibilities. But y'all got like an obsessive lover. This person could be obsessed with you. What's adjacent possibilities for Scorpio? Adjacent possibilities for Scorpio? Adjacent possibilities for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Okay, you have two. Doubt, I release the need to know all the answers at the bottom of the deck. And you have honesty trying to pop out in reverse. So be careful of working and collaborating with certain people you have to understand just because you are honest doesn't mean everyone else is honest or everyone else has good intentions for you so make sure you're paying attention to that and upright it says i can't always expect the truth from others but i can't expect it from myself so with the honesty in reverse maybe you're not being honest with yourself about a path Some of y'all could be lying to yourself. Like, you could be telling yourself, like, no, I don't have any other opportunity. No, I don't have anywhere else to go. Which you do. You have multiple options, multiple opportunities, all these doors. You see all these doors on here? You have multiple choices. So some of y'all could be, you know, blinding yourself to new opportunities that are trying to come in for you. And then you have abundance, which is I'm a limitless thing and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So... Abundance, Scorpio. Abundance energy. Think high vibrational, abundant, big growth, 
happiness, expansion, think that type of energy, because that's what's coming in for you. So let's say Jason possibilities for Sparks. Jason possibilities for Scorpio. Jason possibilities for Scorpio. Ooh, we got home, property, real estate, residence. Some of y'all, this could be working from home. Others of you, this could be, you know, upgrading your home, um, expanding. Maybe you're moving, relocating here. Ooh, child, a beauty queen, shining on stage and adored at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all could work from home. You do something from home. Others of you, this could be, you could be buying or selling real estate. Some of y'all could be like a realtor as well. Something about a residence or a property is of significance here. Can I have one more on this? Clarify the adjacent possibilities with the home car. Some of y'all are going to find like different ways to make money from home. Adjacent possibilities. Union, serious relationship, marriage, or partnership. Some of y'all could be partnering up with a person that you can work with, grow with, build with, create with, and like actually get into either like a loving caring connection with like this could be a marriage or some sort of commitment that not oh my goodness that not only brings love but it brings for the love of money you got the money on the bottom of the deck wealth luck and finances like you can have it all you can have money love partnership sexual connection all of that in one the bang the big big bang yeah Y'all about to have it all. Honey. Now I'm hearing, I am I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am some. I am that. Okay. <laughs> so this is this thing off of TikTok. Okay, what's the adjacent possibilities? What's that? Adjacent possibilities for Scorpio. Be careful of somebody only getting with you because of your money. Adjacent possibilities. Okay. What's the adjacent possibilities? Yeah. Jackpot. Look. Because a lot of y'all are stepping into like this abundance, like this recognition, people seeing you, your worth, your fame, your recognition, your your rise, your, you know, like your connections to other people. So be careful of somebody only coming in that's marrying for money. I just heard, uh, oh my gosh, it just slipped me. Background check. Thank you, Spirit. I just heard background check. So some of y'all, you may want to do a background check. Okay, screenshots, getting evidence, proof of facts. A lot of y'all, make sure you do your research before you work with certain people again, just because if you feel like you can't trust yourself when it comes to a person, it won't hurt to do a background check. I'm just saying, okay? And the idol, love, respected, admired, idolized, and fan. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that are seeing you. A lot of y'all could be in the public eye. A lot of y'all could be getting a lot of recognition when it comes to your work. People want to collaborate with you. They very well respect you. They could be fans of yours here, and it's because you're you're winning, you're freaking winning. Be careful of people wanting to sleep with you, okay? Because you got caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, ration, etc. So be careful of uh, people wanting to sleep with you for this, okay? For money, for wealth, for finances, for stability, or just so that they can be attached to your name. Okay, if you the big boss at the company, be careful of little thought bop Becky and, and thought, bop, thought bopping Billy, coming through trying to sleep with you to be like oh yeah i slept with the boss <laughs> you know what i'm saying so be careful of that because you're attracting this abundance energy like this is like empress emperor energy here you're you're attracting things you're attracting everything you want the home the work the money the love the sexual connection all of that you're attracting it all so just be careful of people trying to leech on to you okay let me get one more money card on that because I'm loving this. What's this adjacent possibilities? Whoop. Whoop. There it is. Yeah. Crown. Overcoming obstacles. Power play. Wealth. Owner. Boss. Taking charge and making progress. Yeah. No lies here. No lies here. And I said emperor, empress. We got the crown right there. Gift. Giving and receiving. Sudden windfall. Generosity. Financial support, work surprise, and vacay. Yes, okay. Blessing on blessing on blessings. And then rose, financial relief, being content, loving care, supportive role, job security, and growing. Beautiful. See? You're growing, you're expanding. You're, I'm, I mean, you're just in this. You're like a beautiful flower that just has been, that's just at its peak. Like, it's, it's ready to, like, 
I don't even want to say peak. Like, I want to say, like, it's just starting to grow. Like, there's so much expansion. It's it's only the beginning. <laughs> like, it's only the beginning. You have so much to go towards. Like, you're going to be very abundant right now. Anything else when it comes to angel answers? Anything else when it comes to angel answers for Scorpio for this reading? We have... The situation will improve. So if you feel like things aren't going well, it will improve. You also have communicate clearly. Be clear on your communication here, okay? And then the answer is yes. Abundance is yours, absolutely. Year, a year from now, you're going to look, look, abundance. You're going to look back a year from now, and you're going to be like, wow, I can't believe my life has changed that much. Because you got a lot of yeses coming in. A lot of yeses. And let's end you off with one of these. Last message for Scorps. Coffin. Natural endings abound. Take care with your health. So focus on your health. Focus on your well-being, of course. Okay. You can't work and, and enjoy life if you're sick in the bed. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water in your fruits and veggies. Okay. Getting the intakes that you need. And then we have patience. Slow down. Change your attitude and clear your mind. So again, remember you got to stay you got to stay clear-minded, okay? Because if you don't, your manifestations are going to be choppy. So you got to make sure you're clear, you're straightforward, what you're putting out, what you're asking for. Be clear. Don't be in this hotness energy. Be clear, okay? This is what I'm manifesting. This is what I'm visualizing. You know, think of the life that you want. Think of the type of love that you want. Think of the type of money that you want. Journal it. Write it down. Envision it. Pretend like you're living it already, okay? I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.